Hi my dear viewers and students very important concept especially in BCA second semester students uh, in C++ programming guarantee 10 marks question in public examination that is called types of inheritance what is inheritance explain types of inheritance I am sure in each and every public paper especially in university syllabus okay uh, better to uh, like and share and subscribe my channel that is called Murthy Technologies channel. It is very useful to get good marks in computer science subjects especially university wise. Okay. We will explain today that is concept is called what is inheritance explain types of inheritances very very important in a public examination damn sure 100% guarantee 10 marks question. Okay. Here, what is the purpose of inheritance? What is the purpose of inheritance? What is purpose of inheritance? How to create inheritance? Okay. Here, next one, very time, very important. Explain types of inheritance in C plus plus. Damn sure, ten marks question. Explain various types of inheritances. What is the type? What is the meaning of inheritance? Create a derive a new class. Deriving a new class from old class is called a inheritance. Okay create a new class with the help of create a child class with the help of parent class derived class is nothing but a child class old class is nothing but parent class okay here old class is called base class or super class or parent class new class is called it is called derived class or subclass or child class okay old class is nothing but a base class super class or parent class there are three names available new class is nothing but child class or subclass okay here how to create how to declare inheritance in c plus plus derive a class derive means create a child class with the help of colon indicator with the help of colon indicator here how to create a child class with the help of colon indicator Derived class name is derived from the base class name. Derived class is nothing but child class. Its base class is nothing but parent class. Okay. Here how to create with the help of colon symbol. For example, class A is called a parent. Class B is called a child. So class B is called child. How to create child with the help of class A? What is symbol we have used? Colon. Public is nothing but access specifier. Publicly access. So very simple. In in C++ how to create inheritance with the help of colon. This is called a parent class. This is called child class. Okay. Child class name is called B. Parent class name is called A. How to create child class with the help of parent A colon symbol. Again I am creating another child class. Child C. Again I am creating the child class C with the help of which, what is the name of parent a parent a here public is publicly derived anyone anyone can access private is nothing but only some within the class can access we have different types of inheritance available it is called single inheritance multi-level multiple hierarchical hybrid and multiply but in examination better to write at least five types of inheritances okay here first one is called a single inheritance single inheritance is nothing but only single class only one only one base class from only one child class is called a single inheritance only one child class only one derive derivation of a child class that means creation of a child class from only one base class one pair one parent one child one parent one child one parent one child is called a single inheritance a is called a parent class b is called a child class okay then we will create a is called a parent class, B is called child class. Okay, this will simply get the guarantee 100 percent uh, 10 marks in public examination. Here, next one, multi multi level inheritance. Multi level inheritance means derivation of a child class, and that means create a child class from another child class. Create a child class from another child class is called a multi level inheritance. Here, for example, A is called a grandparent. Here B is called a parent, here C is called a child, C is called here, C is called a child. Here A is called grandparent, B is called a parent, here C is called a child. It is called multi-level inheritance. We clearly explain here A is called a grandparent for example, B is called a just parent, C is called a child. Here 
B is created through A. C is created through B. See, that is called multi-level. Multi-level. That is called multi-level. Next one, multiple inheritance. You know, multiple inheritance is nothing but multiple means multiple parents, single child. Derivation means child class created more than two parents, more than two. Base class is nothing but parent class. Okay. Derivation of child class, that means create a child class from more than two parent classes. How to create the multiple inheritance parent one? A is called a parent one. Here B is called a parent two. With the help of child is called a derived class. So C is a child class derived from two parents. A is a parent, B is another parent. Here, simple example, A is called a parent 1, B is called a parent 2. I am creating child with the help of parent A, parent B. It is called a multiple inheritance. Okay, next one, hybrid inheritance. In hierarchical inheritance, sorry, hierarchical inheritance. Hierarchical is nothing but, for example, it is a, uh, in organization, for example, it is a principal, vice principal, staff, staff, students, etc. Derivation, derivation of several class child classes from single parent. Derivation of several. Several means many child classes from only one parent. Create more child classes with one parent. Here only one parent that is called A. Child 1, child 2, child 3. Here only one parent. The parent name is called A. B, C, D called Childs. Here next one. Here class A. Class A. A is called a parent, B is called a child 1, C is called child 2, D is called child 3. A, B, C, D are 3 childs of A. So, here parent is called A, all are belongs from only one parent that is called A. So, B, C, D are called child classes from A is a parent class. Next one, fifth one, hybrid inheritance. In hybrid inheritance, is nothing but involving more than one inheritance. More than one inheritance mixing. Mixing of more than one inheritance. For example, combination of one inheritance multi-level plus multiple. This is called multi-level. A, B, A, B, D is called multi-level. Multiple means B, C, D. B, C, D is called multiple. Here it is a combination of two inheritances. What is the two inheritances? Multi-level and multiple is called a hybrid inheritance. Here A, B, D. A, B, D is called multi-level. B, C, D is called multiple. Here we will create, for example, A is called a super parent. B is a child of A. C is another parent. So, D is called a child from B, C. Okay? It is called a hybrid inheritance. Next one, final, multi-path inheritance. Multi-path inheritance. It is also derivation of child class from more than derived classes. This combination of more than one more than one types of inheritance mixing of more than one type of inheritance. for example abc abc is called a hierarchical inheritance bcd is called a multiple inheritance abc is called hierarchical inheritance bcd is called multiple inheritance if the combination of two inheritance is nothing but a multi-path inheritance so here a is called a super class b is called a child of a but we must use virtual function, otherwise it will create ambiguity. Okay, C is called a child from A. D is also called a child from B, C. Okay, simply after complete the theory part, we must explain some simple one program also, inheritance program. Here, here, class M. M is called a, for example, M is a one person. Class M, protected M, N. Protect is called a access specifier. Get M is called a function. Again, I am creating class N. M is called one, one, one class, N is called another class. So, we will access another function P. P is called another another class, another child. P is a child from parent M, parent N. Okay, P is a child. So, we will access the parent, two parents values M, N, M plus N. Okay, then we will get the, we will create object of child. P is a child class, object is called OB we will get the object dot get m okay we need not to write the program in public examination as well as possible better to prepare and write the program also okay it's very very important question in public examination that is called what is in what is inheritance explain types of inheritances
ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर माई चैनल